there. Welcome to a different game for James. This is called Slow Down Ball. Uh, this is a game where... Let me just pop back to the main menu. It's from Insomniac Games. And all the proceeds um, from this game go to the Starlight Children's Foundation, which obviously if you click there, that would take you know, to the website and whatever. Um, so, yeah, uh, I've played... Oh, I've played a couple uh, of uh, rounds so far, just to get a, a gist of what the game is about. And that means I've opened up another two. So, you've got that one there called First Brave Steps. That one there, a crafty ball. And so, hmm, which one do I go on to next? Flower Power. Right, number of times played, zero, best score, because it's the first time I've played it. Controls are simple. As it says here, if you are playing with a mouse, you can also use the arrow keys to steer. Ah, okay. Uh, if you have trouble steering, you can turn on uh, the helper widget in the options menu. Oh, I get it, yeah. Uh, and it gives you a little bit of information at the bottom there. Starlight Fun Center units improve healthcare outcomes uh, through the healing power of play. When a child has a video game controller in her hand, the pain from an operational procedure has a way of disappearing. And that's basically what it is. It's actually, that sounds a bit like the, uh, what's it called? Oh, special effects charity in this in the UK. Um, although special effect does tend to cater more for the disabled gamers or the, the kids who uh, who can't hold a, a controller properly and they have specialised equipment uh, made for them and <coughs> excuse me anyway let's carry on it's a good thing really getting kids to play uh, games and it does help with the healing process uh, as many people have actually said and found out so right I've been thinking about these, those flowers. I think they would be great decorations for my art. They'll give you a boost when you get all of them in a patch too. Right. Oh. So, oh, there we go. They all go into. It. It's basically a case of. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to concentrate a little bit. You press the left. Oh, 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 that's it, I need, oh, 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 that's it, bounce off there, and, oh, that's it, bounce off there, oh, let's collect all of those, whoops, oh, oh, quick, 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 oh, now the other idea is not to get the, the ball completely frustrated, because, that means then uh, the, the ball will basically go to control. Uh, but the problem is when you need to turn other and you need to avoid the, those people. It's oh crap crap crap! Oh, it's cold in. Uh, the problem is you have to control uh, the ball. Uh, obviously, you know, when you do the, oh, oh, oh. But sometimes the ball goes a bit too fast. And, uh, oh, when you bounce off the, uh, oh, when you bounce off the gate. Sorry for not being able to talk properly. It takes a bit of concentration to be able to move, maneuver the ball <laughs> and dodge things at the same time. Um... Yeah, when it bounces off uh, like the fence or whatever, it kind of boosts the, uh, the 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 speed of the ball, and it makes it that little bit harder to control. Uh, and obviously, because you've got to collect all these different, like, well, as it says there, you found all the decorations in this level, and I managed to finish without stressing out. Oh, I was so close though, because the, as you could see, the ball was flashing red. And, well, I just about managed to do it that time. And there we go. That goes into uh, 
the thing up there and so let's have a look at the hedge fund there then it says you haven't collected uh, all the decorations you haven't finished this level without stressing out because obviously I haven't played it yet okay to unlock the next area you have to finish all the levels in this one but you also need Esteban stamps of approval uh, get stamps by collecting lots of decorations in each level a uh, bit more information then. It says in 1995, Steven Spielberg helped launch the Starbright World Online Community, a private school, uh, a private social network for teens affected by chronic illness, their own or the siblings. Visit starbrightworld.org. So, I'll be putting links in the description. Obviously, <laughs> I mean I wouldn't want to uh, just make this video and say, right, here you go, buy the game, give money, blah blah blah. I'll put the links in so that you can basically get an idea of, you know, what the organisation is about. Right, I napped in that tree once. There are decorations in there. I bet you can knock them out. Ooh, thanks for the tip. You're the best sister ever. Okay, so... Um... Oh! Whoops, a daisy. Hang on. Can you... Oh, yeah, there you go. That's it. So... What the? Yeah, I don't know which way I'm facing. Ah, crap. Oh, 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 god. Ah! For god damn! What the? Which? No! <laughs> oh, this is what I was saying. It's, uh. Oh, I didn't collect all, all of the, uh, the things. Oh man, I was going that fast. I could not control anything. Well, anything. The ball. <laughs> it's not so much anything, it's just the ball. And that's the, the pain, really, is having to... Look, say, dodge those. Because when you've collected... Well, oh, now I'm stressed out. Ah, crap. Oh, that's it, cool down. <coughs> oh, two, excuse me. Uh, sorry, I trampled. Uh, if you keep stressing out like that, you're going to run into someone and smash all your art. Okay. <coughs> oh. oh, dear. That's the first time I've, uh, I've stressed out in this. Uh, but that's what's the, that's the problem, because... When you start like hitting the fences, then it gets faster and it it, it is really hard to control. Oh, oh, oh there's a star there. Ooh. Oh. So, so, so you can hit the, oh, right. oh, you can hit the trees more than once. Ah. Oh dear. Uh, I didn't get all three stamps of approval there. Right, let's try that one again. Whoops, I'll click the right button, but it doesn't matter. So, that's two. And then bump a third time. Up. Okay. Oh, and this is where it gets all gobbly gobbly. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. What's happened? Oh no, I've been stressed out. How did I manage that? I've got to, I've got to be on this side. Alright, there we go. It wouldn't be so bad. But... You've got to collect the things <laughs> once you hit the fence. Come on, hit the fence and call down. Come on, come on, call down there. Oh my god, look at how fast. Ah. Oh, that's better. That's a more manageable speed. Oh, 
That's well said. Ooh. It wouldn't be spell, but when you bump into those things, you, you don't actually collect uh, the things. Oh, that's a cool down and slow down. It, it, it's it's not so much the cooldown going through the uh, the water there, but it's the cooling down bit because oh, obviously uh, you want the you want the ball to be as cool and calm and collective as possible. And there we go, that's pretty much done all of it. Yes? A new best? I didn't collect all the decor. Ah, oh. Let's just continue. So, yeah, right. That's kind of complete. It's opened up the next two levels anyway. Uh, that slow down ball. Like I say, I'll put the links in the description. Uh, all the money, the proceeds, and whatever, go towards the Starlight uh, organisation. And so, there you go, that's the game, and blah blah blah. If you've liked what you've seen, please leave it a like, and if you'd like to see more, please uh, subscribe. <laughs> I am so sorry about the sort of, the well, not so much the lack of commentary, but the way <laughs> commentary is done. It does take a fair bit of concentration to to get this game done. I mean, those were a couple of fairly odd levels compared to the first two there. So, uh, yeah, I'll thank you for watching. I'll bid you adieu and say goodbye.